my name is Adrian uh, Houston, and I graduated with a bachelor's degree in human resource development. I studied abroad uh, the fall semester of 2019. I was in Florence, Italy. It was pretty pivotal, uh, at least in my world worldview. I mean, that alone, like from a personal perspective, like to, to study abroad and to live with a family in a culture that is, you know, different from my own and what I've been raised in. It was uh, pretty humbling to go out there and, um, you know, academically and professionally even, it uh, really kind of shifted my lens and my, my portrait for uh, my professional career to have that experience abroad and um, to have a kind of increased aptitude for just uh, global perspectives um, out there. It's tough to put one as the most meaningful. I mean, uh, you got to start off with the family. Me and my, my host mom, she was um, kind of like the, the main point of contact for me out there. So uh, kind of each day, you know, working with language barriers, I, I had some Italian knowledge walking in, nothing near fluent. So um, to, to put my trust into someone that I was like living with and only half able to speak with um, to the best of my abilities. Um, it was a really awesome connection where she was encouraging me, like it, failing uh, with the language, like it's part of learning. So um, that was a really amazing connection to get there. And then I'll also give a shout out to, I did a, an internship while I was abroad. Um, so Marco, my boss, he was pretty like just open and honest with feedback and everything with my experience out there to help really get my feet down uh, with an internship abroad. I feel like global work experience is pretty invaluable, especially in college. Like I'm, I was struggling getting internships, let alone an internship in another country. So um, part of the programming was an internship piece where you interview I think prior to the program even starting, we'd, um, we had done some interviewing and um, I got placed at Patrizia Pepe, which is like a mid to high end fashion brand. I got placed in the HR department over there. Um, the, the Italy programming, um, it's not typical to have an HR internship available, but I, I worked with the administrators out there um, where they had a contact over there. And um, because HR is typically like housed in consultancies um, and there's not there's very limited opportunity for internships so uh, it was a really awesome opportunity to um, to go and intern at this company out there and I was working on a project that was um, helping take their LinkedIn platform uh, a bit more global and to kind of get that off the page to develop their um, kind of employment branding uh, to appeal to a larger talent pool uh, and a more diverse talent pool. A part of the programming um, for the Florence Study Abroad program that I was in was a group, the whole group, we did a, a trip down to Sicily. So I got to go to my roots uh, down there. We got to stay with um, our whole group of study abroad students and they had programming through the whole uh, week um, ending in a summit of Mount Etna, which was like unbelievable. Um, let alone Sicilian food, like you eat, you eat so good down there. So that was really awesome. And you had like an opportunity to um, do a, a meal with the family down there. I mean, like I could go on, um, but that's just the, the, the experience that they presented for that week uh, down in Sicily was uh, far none for me. They did a really awesome job, the, the programmers out there and the staff is, they were excellent. They're all so fun in their own regard, um, but they embed activities, um, they embed local culture into the, um, the, the coursework where you're having like different field trips whatever in the community to go and visit a local business. Like I remember we went into um, a, a, a gem maker who was just across the street. We got to go and um, just go and see his environment um, as part of um, our like small businesses course that we were out there. And so that was really excellent to have that opportunity. Um, and you know, you're out there with um, a group of other college students um, kind of going through the same stuff and they kind of really recognize where you're coming from. Um, and do a great job of um, tailing the courses to you know what they've um, explained um, and like the course descriptions. So definitely make sure. Um, I, I was glad that I like really paid attention to the courses I was choosing because there is some like intellectual work you'll have to do out there, and um, some assignments are um, 
they'll, they'll get a they'll get some work out of you. I did a number um, of trips by myself, which was um, never done anything like that before. Um, so I really learned a lot about um, just self-dependence um, for trips like that um, to get myself um, out of a foreign country already into another foreign country to set up my housing and everything like that. Um, and in some instances, I was like just meeting folks out there, but um, to know that I could you know, get myself from A to B totally by myself um, and um, navigate, you know, uh, language barriers um, or any other heightened um, uh, experiences that were going on at the time. So that, that was really uh, important for me and just my development, you know, to then moving out of college afterwards, you know, to ha have a bit of self-dependence after all that. It was pretty amazing. what I would share, you know, for anyone going abroad is to just um, really lean into failure, right? Like, uh, just to not be afraid of the, the failure in any cause, whether that be um, trying out a new language, um, or just um, kind of um, self sufficiency, and just kind of, you know, there's going to be a lot of questions and fears um, that'll be surrounding you because it's a lot of new experiences. But uh, if you lean into that and just kind of um, create yourself like safety nets in some regard, uh, obviously, like within um, boundaries that are like safe and healthy through it. Um, but, you know, push yourself, whether that means doing the homestay instead of the apartment um, or by going to that um, kind of like locally owned all in Italian storefront or whatever the, uh, the country that you're in is. Uh, um, go to the locally owned, you know, go to the, the local spots and um, try them out, you know, maybe embarrass yourself. but that's part of growth. Uh, so that was a, a, a huge learning for me is just kind of get ex like comfortable to like making a fool of yourself in like a foreign territory. And um, I think you'll, you'll kind of, you'll see afterwards um, what kind of growth um, that is um, stating when you do something like that.